I am back and with some more State Decay 2. We're on a new series. Um, yeah, I was about to say The Saviors, but no. Um, it's the day of the update, um, Homecoming. Um, and I've been kind of holding off as long as possible to start the new series of The Walking Dead Communities um, because um, I did load into a game prior after the last episode. Um, that was before the announcements of, of the update and as soon as I did that they announced the update so what I did was I deleted the save because um, I want to load into Trimble Valley that's just the way it is and I've, we've got to um, so the idea is um, we're not doing the saviors anymore it's season 5 of the Walking Dead communities um, and the whole idea is that Negan um, and Phoenix have been taken by the CRM. Or, in State Decay terms, the um, Red Talon, kind of. Um, but we're going to call them the CRM. Stick with the Walking Dead theme. But um, the plan is for the CRM to land in uh, Trumbull Valley. <laughs> I think it's going to be cool because it's um, my first time... Uh, going back to Trumbull Valley since the recent Let's Play I did, did for State Decay 2's birthday. Um, where I played through Yosef, you want to check that out, it's on the channel. Um, uh, so, yeah, we'll be hopping into it. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I've seen little bits, but um, man, this has been an update I've been asking for a while. I, I, I think I've probably mentioned it a few times in the recent series I've been doing where... Like, the whole idea of Trumbull Valley coming back to the main game. Like, it's cool, Heartland, but coming back to the main game is my idea of a perfect final update for the game. And the way it seems, that like, this ain't the final update. Like, it's probably the final major update. Um, but it's the final... Like, in my opinion, this is, like, the perfect final update. Now, I'm expecting bugs, because it's been on the beta, and last time, when they did a big update... Um, it seemed very smooth on the beta, but when it came to console, it had some problems. Uh, but it's Undead Labs, they'll fix it. Um, but we'll see, it might be better this time, maybe they've learned. Um, but yeah, let's hop into it. Um, but yeah, we're, the whole idea is Negan's still going to be in this Let's Play and Phoenix. Um, and I've got a Red Talon operative, I, don't know, I can't remember his name. He's going to be in the crew, and the whole idea is to recruit Red Talon soldiers, or really good um, members to the team, like people that is like high end. I think uh, is it A or B? I need to remember what uh, like when what who why is an A when you take them or a B if you why is class an A and B in the Walking Dead? I, I need to remember. I think I'll think about it when I come round to the recruit inside but Trumbull Valley welcome home to Trumbull Valley yes <laughs> uh, I was, oh, I'm so happy that and it's like the whole map as well it's not like the cut off half of Heartland um, the only thing is um, if there's a lot of Heartland references I might not get it because it's been a long time since I played them uh, but the one thing that I might do is after this, when I decide that I've had enough of this series, because I'm planning on doing two series with the CRM, um, once I've done this series, maybe to have a bit of a break from the Walking Dead communities, maybe we could play through Heartland. If I'm into like the Trumbull Valley map and I want to do something different, maybe we do a Heartland playthrough. Um, because, look, any of the Heartland stuff, I probably won't pick up straight away. But if it's any of the classic stuff, um, we just played that recently, so I should get it. <laughs> if not, I'm the worst fan ever. But, um, new core map, that's good. New missions, good. New stuff, new bounties, game improvements. On top of all that, we built additional targeted improvements to it. Brag about good good for you, say the gay. And dead labs. Trumbull Valley like never before. Full size version of Trumbull Valley, good. Uh 
Mount Tana, Farfields region. Oh man, this is going to be so good. Like, the one thing is, I ain't, I've ain't. watched like one or two streams, but I turned them off straight away because I was like, no. I'm going to leave it for my stream and my videos. So this is going to be nostalgia and just really good for me. Um, Trumbull Valley Saga continues here. The stories of in-home come and take place after State of Decay 2 Heartland. Okay. And form part 3 of the Trumbull Valley that story begin. Uh, yeah, so I might not be the most um, up-to-date person on Heartland because I remember elements of it, like the characters a little bit, but I can't remember how it ended <laughs> for some of them. I might remember when it comes to it, but if they mention it, I'm guessing they won because Trumbull Valley's cleared the blood plague, like the plague wars and everything. So I guess we won. <laughs> I think we did. Um, uh, so what you want survival again? It'd be kind of cool if like they could remake like the State of Decay. You know, State of Decay one story and State of Decay two. Like I know that'd be a lot more work, but they've got the they've got the uh, original map now. Like it'd be kind of cool if they could like remake the story and put it as a set. I'd probably pay for it. <laughs> it was like a fiver, like. I'll probably give them a fiver for the old story in the new gameplay. Um, for like Lily Ridder and everyone to come back. Uh, new weapons. Ten new weapons. Outfits. New throne explosive. Hmm. Um, I did see that there's a sheriff at, or something, along them lines. They got, like, the video I watched, it was kind of clickbait, they had a badge on the outfit, and I was like, have they legit added a sheriff outfit? <laughs> but I didn't watch the video. Um, well, I watched a little bit, but it was like, the one with the sheriff hat, it was like, that same outfit did not have a badge on. <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> uh, visit Trumbo Valley today. Uh, behold, uh, I'm surprised that they've added another pack, bounty pack. I weren't expecting them to do that. Like this whole like, if this was an EA game, this would be like ten quid. You want you want all this? You want this would be forty pound. All this game improvements. Oh yeah, ammo stacks a bit bigger, faster finishes. Oh, that was a good one. Um, so like the higher the level of combat you have. Uh, I think the less chance you are of sitting on top of a zombie, like with a baseball bat, you won't get that as much. Like, Negan should be um, doing the quickest animation. So that's a good one. Oh, headlights stay on. Oh my god. I remember the stream and they said that that's probably impossible. <laughs> god damn you, sit in dead labs. Um. We hope you enjoy the content and improvements to the update. As always, thanks for playing State of Decay 2. Man, what legends, man. And that's State of Decay Homecoming. All this to come through the next series. Um, we're going to probably play <laughs> Trumbull Valley to death over the next few... I think everyone will be. Um, but I'm going to put my Walking Dead spin on it uh, with a CRM. Um, maybe we'll break it up with some daybreak gameplay if I need the um, prestige. Uh, so it might not be all of this, but um, yeah, we'll hop in. Um, I was kind of hoping to change up the menu a bit, <laughs> like they, they go full on. Um, Harland, maybe. Um, not Harland. Uh, Trauma Valley, but. Um, yeah, I had to delete the community that it did set up because I get them already um, in Providence Ridge and I thought when I did do that, I thought we've, all, we've just recently played Providence Ridge but then as soon as I did that, they announced Heartland so I was like, I'll delete this, I'll delete the community but they're still around, I checked <laughs> I completely wiped Negan off the map uh, but yeah, Trouble Valley! I'm heading to the land where the story began, yeah. <laughs> to right. Uh, I'm 
the loves are tweeting like mad. Are we gonna? I was gonna kind of tempted to play Dread Zone just to make it easier to enjoy the map a bit, but considering Nightmare Zone last time, we didn't suffer a casualty. Now look, we're gonna start from a smaller group with less manpower, so we there is a higher risk of getting hurt, but. I think, like, if Negan or Phoenix or whoever dies, it's the way it is. Um, I was really shocked that we made it through Nightmare Zone last series without any major, so we'll do Nightmare. Um, oh man, I'm excited. And I think what I've seen, heard is that. Trumbull Valley is very militant, like militarized, and so the whole idea of the CRM, which is a military sort of organization coming in, um, it's kind of a... kind of a good uh, sort of... Uh, Loadout really. There he is, Negan. That is James, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> ain't someone that looks like him. Backpacking. No, backwards. Upbringing. Workaholic. Learn to cook. Train to fight. Trained at fighting. Kiki. <laughs> Oh, he is a perfect Negan for me. I'm really happy with him as a character. And then Phoenix. I hope Phoenix doesn't die because she's been in my like she survived six communities. Um, so like, I'd be devastated if anything happened to her because she's like, um, OG. But the thing is, if any of them die now, it's not the end of the world, it's the CRM, it's not the Saviors or Negan anymore, it's... Like, James is still Negan, he's been captured as, and so is Phoenix. Um, but, I can't remember it, the thing is, I bet Isaac, yeah, Isaac, he's the Red Tonton contractor, so he's like... I, so, Phoenix and Negan are pretty much recruited into the soldier side of the CRM, so is Isaac, so that's the idea, <laughs> oh bad I'm a dude, but, um, so like they've somewhat been tasked to go and scout out Trouble Valley, <laughs> um, I think that's it, so, let's hop into Trumbull Valley, yes, and to be honest I ain't done a, um, Red Talon community before. Um, and I really played in, with them too much. Here we go. I remember, I recognize that bridge. <laughs> and we're empty. Again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I almost got ripped apart by a feral. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. Now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible, maybe with some room to expand. Um... And because I was in a community before, I did change them into military clothing. So it looks like they've been recruited into the CRM. I didn't want to do it during a um, video, like during the series. I wanted, so Negan's kitted up in military gear now, instead of, you still got Lucille and everything, but. Um, we need to settle down somewhere strong. Good sight What's Phoenix? Nice. Phoenix? 
Um, oh, that's a good start. Phoenix is missing already. Oh, let's have a look at the map. Oh, <laughs> it's not as good as the old classic. Um, so a lot, but yeah, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I remember that layout. What are you doing, Phoenix? That's a good start. <laughs> ah, shit, a feral. <laughs> ah, that's a good start. I'm already started out with like a military sort of compound. It's kind of cool. I knew you're going to Phoenix a fight, so it's going to be alright. Phoenix, don't embarrass me. Do. As soon as I now say that, she gets bit in her face before off. Anyone else shows up. That's not a bad idea. Oh, that's an different in it. Uh, nine slots. Oh yeah, this is kind of organized now. I like this. I don't know, uh, because it's been a while since I claimed a base. I can't remember if it was like this. Uh, there we go. Home sweet home. Yeah, um, it's kind of a uh, bit muddled up on YouTube, for, but on Twitch. Uh, well, well, yeah. Take whatever you need. Our first priority has to be gathering materials. We'll need them to improve this place. You know, it'd be great if you could go scout out a place for us. Yeah, it's a bit muddled up on YouTube, on but on Twitch, um, I just did a grounded episode because I weren't sure when they were going to update this, but. It's, Five minutes into, um, it should be episode 70, you're grounded. It'll be up after this episode and tomorrow's episode of State of Decay. Um, five minutes into that episode, that I get a tweet, they've updated State of Decay. Because <laughs> I was, was going to do Grounded Decay today, because I thought, uh, I don't know when they were going to update this. But the thing is, on when this is up on YouTube, it'll be a few days away. Like, sorry if it's not as up the date as it can be but you know me I've got to have a delay on YouTube um, of everything uh, but we have somewhat treated ourselves like we've got a bit of a boost we've got little items here and there so we are in a good spot when it comes to certain things but um Maybe so far, so good it here. goes Phoenix. Terrific. And that should be it. Done. Cool shit. Oh, she's already got the supplies we need. Oh, you can have his big fucking gun. And we got some uh, red talon barracks and everything, so. Time to get building. Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start. The thing is, even though that they've increased the ammo count, because I'm at the beginning of a community now, I still don't uh, feel comfortable putting all my ammo on my person. <laughs> even though it probably is handy to have that extra boost, but um, what size that got? Oh good, <laughs> he's stocked up. So Darren in, so Mellow in a few years ago, <laughs> thought, yep, <laughs> just in case <laughs> one day I create a Walker Dig community based around the CRM, let's stop my level. <laughs> How's he got all this stuff? That's quite good. That's from an old community then. Oh, we're alright.
That's all right then. How hurt are you? You're okay. Yeah, I thought I'd give Phoenix the leather black jacket because then it's. I don't want everyone to be full on. Like, in. Uh, what's it? The Walking Dead World Beyond. In that, they show that they're not all full on militant. Like, they do have, like, leather jackets of. Like, uh, of what they usually wear. I oh, gotta do it. <laughs> Twitch is just, like,. Twitter's just going ham on Heartland. Right. We wanted to show our appreciation for everything you did for us. Take a look at and see if there's anything Let's you need. Let's get down need. to business. Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh. Are you going to just go as soon as I back out? Handgun ammo impressed. That might be good. Now that's heavy. I'll tell you that just in case. Guiding and toolkit will tell you that as well. I think fuel would be good. If we can get some more, like I was a stock up. Get some ammo and fuel. We, like that, might as well use up our perk. Save us doing on the so ground. What have we got today? Him, right? Sure, I guess so. Oh, we take the food and another. Maybe take food, ammo, and fuel. Stockpile up while we can. Because then we're a bit stabler. Stabler. Let's make a deal. Sure, I guess so. I want to go exploring a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I should probably get some Molotovs just in case, because don't want to go adventuring. Does he have building supplies? You got something for me? Yeah, why not? I would get that and maybe. I'm you know what, let's go down to let's go down to the two thousand mark. So we might be able to buy everything. <laughs> yeah, we could do meds as well. We can stockpile as much as we can. Hey there, business partner. Now, yeah, might why as well not? get the boost. <laughs> He's like We'll give you what we can like, to help. We're taking everything from him. Look at me grinding out. Hey Looking every building partner. we see. Okay. Oh man, I've got rooks, a base full of rucksacks already. No one's as good as me. No way. Look at Negan, he's a right scientist now. Let's make a deal. Okay. Authorized personnel only, CRM. Yeah, he, he comes from the hey there, business partner. Civic okay. Republic as well. Just making sure we're supplied as much as possible, you know. There we go. Well, we're pretty set already. Now, the only thing we could do with is a uh, repair kit. Have you got that, my friend? Hey there, business partner. We could have a car. Okay. Nah. Alright, where's the nearest? Is there a viewpoint? Down here. And it's kind of weird, like, it looks really different. Because if I did a load of props in and I'm not used to that in. I, it's been a while since I play Heartland, so I can't remember how it was in Heartland, but. It's kind of nice, like. I don't remember it being. I assume it's not like this. That's why I think after this series. Maybe as a break, it would be good to... Oh yeah, there's stuff in here, isn't there? Oh, that's good. <laughs> we got some more meds. Um, that's why after this series... 
It might be quite good to go into Heartland again. Why do I always find the ugly as a ones? series? Alright, Phoenix. Don't worry your pretty head. Oh, man. Great. A feral. If he leaps on me, I'm fucked. That's why I made sure Phoenix and that's why I'm so happy Negan and Phoenix Ugh, have guns for the game. Smells like blood. <laughs> Must be a plague heart nearby. Better watch out for plague zombies. Because <laughs> if they didn't, we'd be risking it. Did they have wind? Did they have wind turbines in Trouble Valley? I don't remember. I never noticed it if they did. Oh, there should be, like, a uh, repair kit in one of these garages. Oh, I've added actual cornfields. Right, it's still the just sticks in the garage, but I usually use. Check this on the way back. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Come on, trouble bomb. Man, this is Thank you, Undead Labs, man. Like, you think of any other developer doing this, it'd be like, sure they asked for money for trouble, like for Heartland, when that came out, but that was still only eight quid. Um, but this is just beyond respect for them because um because the way I see it is like they're doing this because they want to make this game as best the best it can be and the way I see it the the best way you can make a game is making sure everyone can get access to that content and praise it because if it was all if it was paid you might Screamer get only here. half of the people um, be crazy to pass Fifty percent to make of that the community being outpost. able to play it, um, and the fifty percent that don't play it will probably criticise for not being able to play it because they can't afford Flutters, it, or the skunks of the they don't want to risk buying it or something. Uh, but credits do. Okay, um, nothing more to see here. But it looks good. I'm guessing it's a bit squished down from the original because the original was big. Like especially this middle section, it, it feels like it's squished down a bit more. Because I have a feeling. Yeah, it feels a bit. I, I feel like the field went on forever in the old game, whereas this, it, you can somewhat see. Like, every. Like. That's the somewhat outline, which ain't bad, like... Uh, the thing with Trumbull Valley back in the day was... Uh, there was a lot of fields, but you couldn't cut across them because there was them fences that you couldn't break through. Um, I'm guessing they're weak enough now <laughs> to break through. Uh, oh, we need to get a car to test that. I'll go and loot this barn up. And maybe check the garage first, because the little shed, because usually they probably have. I need a repair kit. Bring it, brainless. Oh, that was a fast attack. Let's um, try a few of these strike attacks, like these. Um, finish attacks and see how often she sits on the enemy. The zombies. How often does she sit on the zombie and do the half an hour attack? Like she's a, she's still leveling up in striking so she might still do it but I have a feeling oh, you'd think she wouldn't do it too often. 
No, Phoenix. You got carried away there, darling. You stupid bitch. Yeah, phone's going mad for state decay right now. Can I get it? Nope. Can I get it? Nope. Can I get it? Third time's a job. Nope. Fucking waste of three bullets there. And I think if you have certain perks, they incre that increases that increases the ammo stack as well. I think uh, I watched a video of. Why do uh, I even get my hopes name? up? He's oh, I forgot his name. He's the de developer. <laughs> I was to get. He's like the director now. Um. Oh, what's his name? Jeffrey Card. That's it. Um, he did a video on his channel. Again. He's been playing through State Decay a lot, which is quite cool. Um, because when you have a developer playing his own game, he has a bit of a big, better insight than most of us. Um, and he was talking about the new improvements of the ammo, um, like stack increases, and I think. Uh, like pistol, like the smaller bullets, you can oh, carry more of them. Like, um, now? are these nine millimeter? Is it nine millimeter? Like point four five. So they're like pretty small bullets. So I think you can carry quite a lot more of them than um, than before. Uh, than say a rifle size, like rifle ammo. I'm not sure how it would work for shotgun shells. Like, uh, I'm still only carrying 30 for shotgun shells. Hmm. I wonder if it, like, I know for certain skills like assault, you could that and boost things up more. Um. Nice. Uh, but I'm not sure what. Has changed with all that. I know that. Got all I, can handle. I know that he said. Actually, that weapon might be better. You know, that might be better than the snack. We could come back for it because there is that shed, and that might have a repair kit. Cause that's what we need. Let's have a look. We'll unlock these. There's a horde coming. I didn't check. Merry Christmas to me. Yeah, we'll come back. Hopefully there's a repair. It'd be nice to have a repair kit, yeah, please. <laughs> no, damn it. We'll come back for it. Rucksack's good. Yeah, we'll come back. Well, we'll walk back, come back. I could call in a vehicle. Um, that's kind of cheating, isn't it? I could check the campsite, maybe. That'd be lucky. Let's see. Quick attack. Good. It'd be probably smart to start building stuff, right? Uh, what would be a good thing to build? Man, you don't get much in this base, really. You've got... Because usually you would have enough for a garden. Um, I suppose that's why you probably go for outposts, maybe. But that's very different from the houses, because... You have like, you've only got room for either a garden. I suppose, I suppose you go for a workshop and an infirmary, combo. Because usually you go for a garden, infirmary, and workshop pretty much instantly.
Another quick attack. Like the only time I'd probably notice it is if in combat, like a bunch of zombies. Uh, maybe that's when the game will like poop out and say, no, we want to do the long attack, but. Is there anything I could trade with this guy? So, what do we got today? Sure, Have I we guess got anything so. on me that I don't need? Yeah, we could use everything. Alright, that's uh. That's gonna make Negan happy. Yeah, let's just put 20. Right, let, let's head back. Yeah, I think Phoenix has got a little bit more time in her. Let's see. Is this lootable? I really do do with a packet. Maybe I check the campsite that's on top of that rock. Maybe get lucky there, because that's what we need right now. Mm. That's what I should have brought along. I, I had a feeling I should have brought a repair kit along. That's why I was kind of thinking. That's why I was kind of thinking it would have been good to have done like <laughs> done an easier difficulty for a little bit, <laughs> just so we got high chance of getting stuff. But what I found like last season, um, I, it isn't like we couldn't find stuff. I sure you got less stuff, but it wasn't. I wasn't. It wasn't like I wasn't like struggling for like resources. Like the only thing that I would I did notice is that we weren't like happy all the time. Um, there is a lot of. Long would not be smart. There is quite a. Let's see if there's anything useful in what I just dropped off. Thanks, James. Or knee good. Claim by play card. And you think about it, they've added Plague Territory, which I thought would have been a bad update. Um, I was kind of worried about it, but it hasn't been too bad so far. Um, oh, nice. Man, we're full, of, we're full though. We might have to run back and drop all this stuff off. Yeah, we'll run back. God damn it. we got to get, we want to have as much stuff as possible though. Whether that's for trading or... So we gotta do this little bit grinding. That's why I'm glad I didn't push the saviors on for another community because it would have been easy to at least we're playing Trouble Valley from a fresh somewhat group because if it was a fresh community we'd be in the highest base right now. Um, I think there's like six bases on this map. I, that's the thing I've seen about two or about two or three that was in the trailer. Like I, there's a barn. A ferris wheel in the fairground and someone else and then there's this one uh, which I saw in a get good fox clip uh, like the first few Later. seconds of his let's play that he started up oh um, but besides that um, I'm not sure what else there is I'm guessing that there's the base from Heartland maybe uh, unless they've changed that up be kind of interested in if that's not there anymore and they've gone somewhere different. So it means that there's somewhere different in Heartland, but I doubt it. I think they would keep that. So it's just a base done in it. Um, I'm kind of happy that they've added all this though. Like they didn't need to do that. And up here. Like, is there a base up here? No. Oh, that's a base. Oh, that's a part. Like, is that bait? That's a base, isn't it? Okay, maybe not then. Yeah, maybe the original place ain't a base. Farmland compound. That's that's the factory. Cool. Fort Marshall. Oh, nice. 
Okay. Okay, okay, game. I see you. And then there's the Red Talon Daybreak. Oh, we gotta go there, because Red Talon is the CRM. <laughs> we'll have to go there. <laughs> How big is Is that like a medium base? Yeah, I'd say that's medium base. That could be like more or less the nearest base we go to. Um, I do not want to let Red Talon is my friends. Where's that screamer? Is that in the tr like that's the thing. You're gonna have some weird shit. I'm expecting some weird stuff still. Especially in the north of the map where it's like somewhat new. Like oh, this is in Heartland, so you think it's a bit tested. map is not laggy. Um, that was one thing from the last update. Um, oh man. It was kind of laggy after the fact. Is he cripple? You shut your mouth, mate. Actually, you, do you think the next game is set in Trumbull? You know State of Decay 3? You know where it's all snowy and it's like in the mountainous terrain, you'd say? That's a lot of snow up there. Do you think maybe... Because it'd be kind of... Like, imagine if it was Trumbull Valley but in the snow. This will slow me down. That'd be a good selling point. Well, I, I wonder... Uh, I wonder if you need like a special skill to make a repair kit. I wonder if I can make one. Sorry, it took a while. <laughs> Too busy looting. Hey, uh, you mind sending a little help this way? Don't do anything stupid before I get there. Much appreciated. They might have a repair kit. So we're going to see what they got. Even if we could just trade with them. Oh, the worrying thing is if they're like a like a group where they, I come up to them and they're like, I want to kill you. Hmm. I should get some gas grenades. But they're right there. Oh, and they are, they are in a... Yeah, we'll go and drop this stuff off. Because they're in a... Sh they're in a wear out. Um. Don't breathe any of that. They're in a... about um we're in a little uh what do you call them oh what would you call <laughs> i'm blanked on the name like a warehouse sort of storage area garage <laughs> that's it <laughs> do it like that <laughs> Phoenix has been busy. We're, all, we're in the green, boys. We're in the green. Alright. Gotta keep going. I think you can last a little bit longer, can't you, Phoenix? You've survived worse. I'm not sure how long I'll go. Um, I'll probably only do this State of the Game episode today on Twitch. And then we'll do the next one 
tomorrow, which will be up tomorrow on YouTube. <laughs> um. I can't keep this up. Yes, you can. Believe in yourself. And we will believe in you. Absolute beast. Now this is how I imagine the Rick Grimes movies are going to be. Like, Rick's going to just be a, like a zombified soldier to the CRM. No mention of the original series at all. Alright, what do you guys got? What do you got? Have you got repair kits for me? You got something for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, take the molotovs. Um, remote box mines, that might be good. For oh, I'm spending all my pocket money, ain't I? Get given 4,000 influence and it's gone like that. Again. Uh, I need to. I need to see if we can get a repair kit. That's what I'm after right now. Because if we can get a repair kit and some fuel, nice. um, we can. I'm assuming Beaumont's on this map, right? It'd be kind of nice to go to Beaumont today. Boon Trader. What's the boon trader? Trading alliance set up by previous community leaders. What's that? Is that something to do with the trader? So to be honest, I forgot what the trader thing does. Like the the bounty, uh, the bounty broke is all the way down there. Um, How are you? Is there Later. always a place to trade on the map? How I'm are guessing you? that's it. Uh, Later. You're kind of low, mate. You can't just expect us to cough up plague samples. Can I? Uh, how long has that got? I'm assuming you're gonna need like the mechanic skills like skill to else make. Home. But with a play card kit. around, that won't last. Um. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of this stuff on foot, it seems. <laughs> Unless I call in a vehicle, but I don't want. Like, I want to play this legit as long as I can. Hello. Uh. Finishing that project. There's another entry in the wind column. The safest Suppose place to collect samples yeah. is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Those things basically I'm not even going to reply to that. It's pretty nasty. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. Oh my god. Make Three sure you fucking gear years up for this, this one. Lecture me on how to play the game. <laughs> Helping out like this is a good way Fe to make friends. Phoenix has survived six communities. She does not need to be man. <laughs> she doesn't need to be. She does not need to be mansplained to. <laughs> I know how it feels to be a woman now. Stuck into a map. <laughs> I feel so violated. Oh man. I don't know, is it me or does this map seem very echoey? I. The, 
audio bounces off everything. I don't know whether that's meant to be, but... And she... I don't know whether it's the gun. It might be just the gun. I ain't tried anything else yet, but it feels like everything is quite echoey using that pistol. Been a while since I last used it, but... I don't think I've noticed that before. I wonder if they've added any extra new missions to the other maps, maybe, but... I doubt it. I think this is a priority. Um. Cheeky drink. Bit of a risk. Have I still not emptied this up? Yeah, we should go and get that done. Um, where should I go to get... Maybe we should give Phoenix a little bit of a break. She's, she's going to just conk out soon. I think she's got a bit more time in her, but... We'll go and get it to... We'll get it to drop off them things first. Eh. Actually, I don't know where I can afford calling a vehicle now. <laughs> Probably ain't got the influence. Or like maybe it's... I don't know whether you get repair kits in like a supply crate for calling it in. I don't know if you get that from like an ultimate... Like prepper's pack or something, I don't know. Probably just need to get another... We're set, we're, we're alright, we're not gonna scrimp on supplies anytime soon. <clears throat> but the plan is to do, I don't know when I'll finish off a series. Um, is before I was doing it per map rotation, but I'm not sure now because um, it's going to be a bit of a grind to get this community up to scratch. So, like this series might be quite long compared to the previous few. Um, depends on how far we get um, and whether uh, we will reset this map in the rotation, like when we do move maps again. Maybe this will be the first time to come back to this again. Just so we get play some other bases, things like that. But uh, we'll see when we come to it. See if we get bored of Trumbull Valley. <laughs> uh, we'll try Isaac. Like I, I don't think I've even touched him before. I don't remember the last time I did play as him. I have a feeling he won't be as good as these two. Come on. Phoenix, stop playing. Oh, fuck you, Dart. I was going to give you the 50 cow. Oh, we are equipped to defend the base a little bit, but I doubt we'll have dangerous sieges or... I hope we don't have... <laughs> um, I hope we don't have uh, juggernauts spawning in and all that crap just yet. Does he do the... no? Okay. That's quite noobish. What's the logics? Uh, one item... Oh, that's quite good. One stack size community. That's that's good. That's a good part. Knowledge on craftsmanship. Good. Metal work. Oh, so we might be able to make... Uh, Maybe not. Circuitry. Maybe upgrading it. Maybe we'll be able to make some repair kits then. Or maybe you need the... Uh, what 
and I need the what you call it uh, auto mechanic state. Um, oh yeah, I think um, isn't the new. Oh, I won't be able to tell now. Hang on. Ain't there new facilities or something? Uh, I thought I saw that there's new facilities. Oh, build the haven device? That's new, isn't it? Alright, it looks new. One big siege, no more sieges. Oh, that might. Oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> That'll be interested in Nightmare Zone. Uh, build Cleo. Is that new? That might be. Oh yeah, that's now it's daybreak. Uh, still, it's uh, hydroponics farm. Maybe it's. Not so much. <laughs> I thought there was a few more things new. Mm. Well, that's that's cool. We we'll give that a go at some point. Maybe in a bigger base, or I'm assuming maybe some of the other bases have that already built in. Maybe are the red talon. Uh, actually, have I got? But I ain't got a silencer. It'd be nice. No. No silencer. Bit of a problem. Oh, we could go and check that out. Shed might be good. Shed might be a good sign. For... A repair kit. Sorry for sprinter down then. False the habit. Because the one thing that kind of turned me off a little bit in Heartland is um, everything was Blood Plague. And it wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but it was just... I, with everything, it's a lot of Blood Plague when you put down to everything. Um, like, higher chance to get Blood Plague. Um, it wasn't necessarily hard, what I remember, but... It was just, it was just too much blood plague in my opinion. Um, I very much prefer the, I very much prefer, like the blend of the two. I, I like blood plague zombies, yeah, yeah. but I, I'm not a fan of. I wouldn't want the next state of decay to be all blood plague. Um, I wouldn't want to keep getting infected all the time, having to craft. Blood plague cures all the time. Um, it's just a nice element of the game that is a bit of a risk. That's why I'm not 100%. I, I think lethal zone might be okay, but it's just blood plague ferals. Um, to have multiple headshots might be a bit tedious. But you watch, we'll get fuel. But no repair kit. I could do with some electric parts though. I'll take the fuel though. Good. Could go down there. days, early days. Actually, I should probably drop it off because we might get a ton of stuff from here. Thing is, I haven't really played with Red Tunnel Soldiers besides in Daybreak. But they're more like uniform in their skill set. Usually you get the same sort of characters almost. 
Um, but maybe we'll break up the series with... If we need the um, prestige, we'll do a bit of daybreak now and then. Um, uh, I've got 20,000 prestige, so we might be okay. <laughs> Like, I can't remember how much it costs to make, like, because the idea is going to be to call in Red Talon soldiers, or CRM troops, um, every so often to see what we can get, and then, um, when we're recruiting people, um, when we're recruiting people, um, if they are, I think an A is someone that's willing to join, and a B is someone who is refusing to join uh, or haven't offered to join I think that's the rules of the CRM in The Walking Dead so like um, I think in The Walking Dead when Rick got taken after he got hurt and was blown up um, uh, what's the name it's not Andrea uh, I forgot her name, uh, the trash lady. Uh, I've only just recently rewatched the series. Um, she called Nick Rick a B, and because he was unconscious and he didn't have a, um, he didn't have a say in the matter. He just was taken, so he's a B, and he's a bit of a risk of. Because I think the CRM is like more resources, like say they take someone without that person's permission or that person doesn't want to go. It's more time consuming and effort to um, indoctrinate and like recruit them into like the military. So I think that's like the high, whole idea of the uh, Rick Grimes movies is the whole process of him being uh, brought in to an area that he's never been to, losing all his, his friends and then becoming a CRM troop and then him probably dismantling the CRM or recruitment. That's what I see as that becoming. That's what I want it to be. Uh, nice. Oh nice. Okay, so if you want um, blood play cure, check check out this location. I don't know whether it's a guaranteed, but finally, I can't remember the last time I just find uh, blood play cure in the world. Um, I know that in I think Drucker County, the hospital. Um, that's a guaranteed blood plague cure all the time. Well, most of the time anyway. So, worth checking out if anyone else comes here and has the same luck. Uh, I think it's a good place to start and play blood plague cure. Well, you'd think in Trumbull Valley there's a, there'd be a lot of blood plague cure all about, especially after the Heartland incident. Heartland incident. Um, you think survivors would have kept stashes of blood plague cure all over the place. So it'd be kind of cool to have that sort of attention to detail where when you come to Trumbull, you will find more of that sort of... Uh oh You will find more of that sort of stuff. Crouch, you prick. What the fuck? <laughs> It's just like, let's do a little jiggy round. Let's just skid around the place like absolute moron. What's he doing? I'm trying to, you know when you just skid? Well, I don't know whether that's a bug or what, but... Oh. That's a problem. He's in an awkward spot. Uh, 
Let me try this. Like, you know the scoot? He goes to stand up. And then he crouches. Let's. I don't know whether they've changed the little scooty dash thing you do to like speed up things. Maybe they've stopped you from doing that because it's like. It stops you from doing like the stealth skill or something. Because uh, it's just as fast. Yeah. Maybe they've stopped. That? I can't remember if I was doing it as Phoenix. Because Phoenix was stealth. I wouldn't be surprised if they've removed that now, because it is something that. you might want to use. That sounds like a horde. Please not be a big boy horde. How much monitors we got? Two. Fire That's how firecrackers are used, people. I ain't used firecrackers like that in a long time. Ah, come on, game. Yeah, I think they've removed... Ah, I don't know whether I like that or... Maybe it's a bug? They really want to come this direction now. That bloater is bad news. Yeah. Man, that's a right mess there. Hmm. Maybe we get a car this episode. I was kind of hoping it'd be kind of nice to finish off with a car getting running, you know? And that might be better for next time. I think they got a blue plate. Like, it'd be better to just give these guys this plate here. If it makes them happy. I don't know, maybe... Uh, is it even crouching? Hmm. Oh, he's got stealth as well. Maybe it's the stealth. What's he got? Tactics. Oh, yeah, I've not... Oh, wow. Grapple, enemies from front. Okay, I've no. That's the thing. I've not really played with Red Talent, so they might have different skill sets. Sweet leg, Grand Slam. So they've got a bit of everything. So they can somewhat, um, yeah. Okay, so you can somewhat. Be whoever you want to be when it comes to Red Dialogue. <laughs> You're good in everything, which makes kind of sense. That's actually kind of a nice little perk. Um, after three years, I still have, like, I've just never had a. Like, I've had this guy, but I think I did recruit, like, have a go on a little bit of a recruiting spree, but. Um, the way they were coming through, I, I just didn't like what they were coming through as, you know? Uh, but I guess we'll see what we get in the future. Uh, it'd be kind of like nice to hold off till 
some like daytime, so next episode will be something like this episode where we start off in the day and we end off at night. So we'll play a little bit longer. That was quite a good little stash. Maybe we'd go and check this place out. Because that might be, that looks like a warehouse to me. And, and yeah, I can't, I want to, I want to explore more. I want to see. I, if it was my case, I'd drive around the whole map if I could right now. Oh, the bridge. Oh, it's been like, put like a new one in, like a military. Oh, this is all new. Like, this is kind of nice, because this is how... And there's certain elements in the old map, like the first game map, where you could tell it was... Like, it, it looks like the military or something has come back. Like... Like, um... Because something's happened in Trumbull Valley for, like, Blood Blade to take hold of it, like it did. And to be honest, I think Trumbull Valley is where Blood Plague started because when we played through recently, you know that uh, part where we find all the bodies in the dam and it's just infected and it's just stinking and it's like you can see the stink coming off it and birds are all over it, I think there was. Um, I think that... Um, I think that's the sign that was like, we've got an idea for Blood Blake. Just... Well, that checks another box on my scavenger bingo card. Like, just the way I saw playing in that moment in the Let's Play. Because I, I played through Year 1 Survival Edition for State of Decay's birthday. Oh man, we get some good stuff. Um, and that moment... After playing so much of State of Decay 2, um, it was like Blood Plague and that kind of clicked together quite nicely. That's a lot to carry. I can't carry that. I can't carry that. I oh, will come back for that. Because we ain't gone. We ain't gone to a location I want to go to. Oh, they, have they kind of added, tried to add the misty, smoggy sort of effect? Because that's one thing I did like in Yos, is the sort of foggy, like the mist, that was kind of creepy now and then. Um, I doubt they've added it into the game, but this cloudiness? Yeah, I think it would be good to play Heartland as a let's play. That'd be a nice series to do. I do both of the because I think there's two couples. Supplies have been delivered. Um, no, it'd be good like two good let's plays I think, or one whole let's play is like playing through both. Because I don't think they were long. It just was long as how long how. How sh how long you decided to take yourself? Like, if it was like this, just it it take you a while. But I don't think it was as long as a normal game of State of Decay. Oh, drink. All right, we'll try and get to that. I think it's a warehouse. It seems like it. This is a blood play. Play bloater in the way. If I can get him to trip up. Come on. Bloater cloud. <laughs> no, that's terrible, mate.
kind of block myself in, ain't I? Give it a minute. Oh, I smell it. it. Smells lovely. It smells of strawberries and sugar. Kind of reminds me of the. Um, what do you call it? The. Uh, What you call it? The um, the swarm like sort of red blood effect that's in Gears Five and Four. Oh yeah, we'll get a repair kit in here. That'll be a good way to finish off. <laughs> I doubt we'll get it. Is that a car as well? Or is that bro no, it's broken? Oh, there's a fuel thing as well. Oh, there's a bit here. Yeah, I think we, we should be okay. About bloody time. Yeah, Got tell me about it. What's his name? Isaac. Dune. Dune Newton. What's... <laughs> Ain't God. Is that Dune or Dion? I can't read it from the back of the sofa. Do Newton. <laughs> Is that like um Duke Newton? New um Duke Newton. Newton? <laughs> what what's Duke Newcom? Is it Duke Newcom or Duke Newcom? Ne <laughs> I can't re <laughs> I I really just stop while I can. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Getting a bit late. <laughs> I would do the next episode, but it's getting late. Um, cause like I said, I did grounded before this, so usually I would have done. Uh, my pl original plan was to do two state of the gate today, but because I wasn't sure when they were going to update it, I thought, oh, I might as well. I might as well do. Yeah, that might be too much to carry. And that, uh, uh, we could. Oh, should I repair that instead of the car? Because that should have more. No room for oh, that. Oh yeah. I think we repair this. That's probably better than the car. Shall we fin- actually, shall we- <laughs> I know I keep saying I'm going to finish off, but... Shall we go and- shall we go and have a little explore? And go to, um... Beaumont. Cause we've got a bit of fuel. We'll go and drop off this stuff. we we'll go and see Beaumont. And we'll have a little bit of a peek at the rest of the map and... See how it is, cause we ain't seen much of it, we've only seen this little corner today, so... Finish off with just just nip into Bowman and back, and getting in that getting that uh, little bit of perks and that we got, and seeing the new bounces as well. Hopefully the new bounces aren't um, too perilous. But we've done all right. We've got a good stockpile going so far. So we've looted all red right deer already. <laughs> I hope there's enough game for me to loot today. Well, if anything, we'll just reset the map. If, oh, to be honest, there's like two towns in this map, so we should be okay. Right, let's. Where's Bowman? Oh, let's go and get some nostalgia. Cards with 
part of God's plan, I'd like to have words with him. Yeah, I... Yeah, what I, This game is so squished. Like, it's... Half the size of... The original, because... In the original, I feel like half an like take you half an hour to get from one side of the map to the other. Whereas then it's like didn't take long at all. But I don't mind it. Like um, it wasn't needed in the original, but. It is kind of noticeable. Oh, that's the other base. Someone better be listening, cause I'm in deep shit out here. Tressa. Oh, that's, an, that's the new. Sorry, darling. Should have. Uh, they're like, oh, we you, you got a guard out. <laughs> we would do all our quests. Is that Tressa from Harland? Yeah, I should have a new thumbnail for this series as well. Um, Civic Republic military in that. Walking Dead theme, as always. Do this in Trouble Valley. Break through a fence. Yeah. Oh, you could do it in Heartland. <laughs> in the main game, that's the important thing. Greetings. I do believe I have a Let's challenge see. you'd enjoy. Oh, they're treating us today, ain't they? What's that? Cliff. Daybreak Hardy Candy. Day pack. What's a day pack? Is that a new backpack they've added? Oh, oh, seven slot. Well, that's nothing special, right? Hmm. Oh, we got some perks from last playthrough. Oh, but these look good. Kill two ferals with vehicles. That's easy. Complete four missions with no followers. That's easy. Uh, armor rent. Ah, uh, yeah, they're like, um. Are they like the. Hmm. Something like that would be done quite quickly. Dismember. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Range attacks. Ah, <laughs> oh, go screw yourself. Collect 25 resource. Collect 10 food. Collect 10 fuel. Maybe do one of them, like just to see what they're all about. Um, uh, what else should I like? Dismember 20. That's going to be hard because we're all blunt weapon. Uh, four missions with no followers. Uh, 
Uh, dismember 35 zombies. Uh, Are they mice? You mice are with a follow. Okay. At least they're trying to change up the bounty quests a little bit. That's kind of cool. Uh, actually, no, that's not that one. We'll do that one. That that's pretty easy. Um. So what's next time then? Prepare for scare. If you dare, uh, the first and foot. Okay, so you can get the Lucille back next rotation. If anyone wants to play as Negan, but James is the only Negan, but everyone's Negan. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, is that? S oh yeah, it's forty so. But the one thing is the shotgun shells, they're still 30. I thought they would have gone up a little bit, but I suppose they are kind of chunky when you think about it in real life. Oh, you don't see magazines of shotgun. I suppose, I wonder if... I wonder if it would change for like, say the shot, you know, the shotgun with like the big magazine. I wonder if that would affect how much you can carry. I really want to ride through the town. Shall we save that for another day? I think we need a fuel up because we're gonna get gonna get cold with that. Pants down between the wrinkles. There we go. Maybe we'll nip through the town then. Just to see. So if I remember in Heartland it was kind of awkward to get through the town because a lot of it was blocked off because of a couple of plague wars and everything, so. Man. Yeah, I like how it's overgrown a little bit. It's not flat. There's a lot. There's a lot more detail. And that's what you want from State of K2. That's what you want State of K2 to give to the map. You don't want it to be like one to one, like visual rep date. You don't want it to be state of cave one. You want it to be like is it like what happened after state of cave one? What what does the map will change? I shouldn't necessarily be everything. Like some vehicles would probably be in the same spot. Like especially the ones that are blown up and everything. I'm kind of curious. Like, I can't remember if these are exactly the same or from the original, but yeah, we've done a good job. Well, most of this was already here. Well, that's another. That's a military base. Ah, oh, that's a military base. Yeah, I've one of them before. Yeah, it's cool. It's still kind of cluttered. <laughs> Like in our land, but kind of means you won't have to weave through this bait there. Map more. Oh man, that's cool. Like, oh, it's like dead blood plague wars. That's cool. Oh, that's that's cool. 
But it kind of makes sense, like, it's a good attention to detail. I mean, it'd be weird if they were just gone. Where's that feral? I need to run him over. Well, that's new. Very military. I wonder if the army's back. I heard them broadcast. I know. The military's been sniffing about. CRM have got involved. They're not taking military shit. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. Like it's like ah, it's like you've been in your life. I would totally, I would totally pay for Undead Labs to like redo the story for State of Cave One. Like the exact word for word, just put it into this game. I'd be down for that. I'd give them ten quid for it. They want to put in the work. I bring. It's a way to bring Marcus and everyone back. Well, that's a little tease, I suppose, a little nostalgia trip. I guess we'll head back and finish off today's episode. Um, I'll premiere this when it's on YouTube and everything, so... People have an idea when it's up, well, could gonna be up. Yeah. Come on. Whoa! Oh, fuck you! Oh yeah, more through a bloody pole. Man. Well that's the one repair kit we're never gonna get back. Motherfucker. Would you prefer any of these, mate? Is that got a built in suppressor? Uh that's got a built in suppressor. What am I doing? Transfer it, you prick. Oh yeah, that's that's more his style, isn't it? Now I'd kind of like that on his hip, but that's a much better weapon for him, I think. But yeah, we got. I don't know why he's got shotgun. Yeah, I kind of wish that was on his hip, to be honest. But, um... Yeah, good successful episode so far. No one's died. Um, we've got a vehicle with no door now, which is fun. Um, but at least we've got a vehicle. And it's a truck. Hang on, I just want to check. Oh yeah, that's one thing. That's going to be a bit annoying, in a way. Like... It's nice to be able to leave your lights on and it be okay, but it's like when you come to park up, it's uh, and you forget <laughs> it's gonna be like your base is little. Uh, the six. You think that car would have five? I can't remember. Oh fuck! Why? I, I was going to end the episode. Yeah, it should have ended the episode, but it was good. But these would go well. But no, I wanted to check how many spots were in a bloody car. 
and then I let the screen to screen. Because I'm stupid. Moron. Hmm. Oh, no, is it? There was four UC armor and mount protective. Nah, that's a drop. There you go. Oh man, this is a nice gun. Fucking get wrecked, boys. That's what I'm talking about. You want to show how all that we only get one place on, bro? Four. So yeah, we made the right decision getting a truck. It makes sense. Shut me up. Um, I don't see play carts anywhere. Like play samples. Oh, we got one anyway. Um, we cleared up a bit of a threat. Um, but yeah, next time we'll just be cracking on as usual. Um, exploring more Trumbull Valley, seeing all the little nostalgia trips we'll get onto. Um, build up the CRM more. Uh, uh, oh, they're already technically built up. We're just a scouting crew. <laughs> We're just foot soldiers. Building up the army. It might be. Yeah, we'll probably get Negan set up. Um, actually. I don't know what um, legacy I'm going to go for. I'm thinking the CRM would be the. I think the CRM would be more Warlord. Um, with a bit of Sheriff, maybe. Um, or maybe build there. Uh, I think I think uh, CRM would be more warlord than sheriff, but I think they're kind of a bit of a blend of both. Um, so yeah, we'll. we'll f <clears throat> so my plan is to. I, at the end of this season anyway to Legacy and then next season to Legacy so we'll probably Legacy twice as a CRM in Nightmare that's if we survive but um, the thing is it's a bit different than um, uh, like once we Legacy as this group we we don't necessarily need to keep Negan or Phoenix on um, I'd like to keep Negan going because he's been around since the first season of the Walking Dead community, so I would like to see him keep cracking on. I'm Phoenix, so maybe we just stick with them and then if we find any good rel red talent soldiers, we'll bring them along like that, but actually, yeah, we don't need, I don't think we need... Man, it's so weird being a carry so much. I, I don't even usually like carrying that much bullets anyway. I usually like just carrying an extra magazine or clip or whatever you call it in America. Um, so I just feel like there's a bit more space for any more bullets. So actually it's quite a good thing for like looting. I mean when we come across more bullets it's... You don't end up carrying about three stacks of 30 ammo or something or... I'm going to leave a few bullets because it doesn't 
you're missing a few. But yeah, it's been good so far. I like, I'm very impressed with the map. Um, a lot of like it's, it's instant recognition. Like um, I like even in Heartland, I remember like it, they did a good job with that, and it's pretty much the same map, but. It's going to be interesting going up here with the f where the fairground is, seeing how accurate that is to the original, and going up here to the. Um, I wonder if there's anything on Lily Ridge's dad and stuff. Oh man, it's going to be cool because I think I have seen a few locations. I think I did see some say someone said that there are like question marks like buried um, items around like uh, somewhat like uh, landmarks from the old game like highlighting stuff so I think there is like um, is that a landmark oh yeah oh echo I think yeah I think I've seen something on that I think you can craft chems like the um what's that uh mod where you can make gas grenades and everything i think if you have that outpost you can make that sort of stuff through that so that's a good one. Oh man i could keep going but no we'll, we'll finish off here we'll do some more tomorrow um but yeah uh really enjoy that that's one thing, I need to make sure I improve the infirmary, because if they're not healing, um, it's not going to do anyone good. But, um, first impressions of Trumbull Valley and the homecoming update, good. Um, no major bugs or anything like that, no, no major distractions, but yeah, very good experience so far. And going Trumbull Valley, back to Trumbull Valley, it's a hell of a perk. Um, now we've got five maps to play in. That's why, if for some reason I don't like the look of K3, <laughs> at least they've got I've got a hell of a good game to stay around with for a while. Um, I want to be like Charter, where I can't leave. Like, uh, if you ever watch Charty Sixty Seven, um, he loves uh, like you can tell he loves um, State of Decay Yosh, like the first State of Decay. Um, and he, you could see like every so often he keeps going back to that game no matter how much State of Decay updates. I'm gonna probably be the same with State of Decay 2. So when State of Decay 3 comes out, I'll play it. But I wanna come back to this because I think this is my State of Decay. Um, even though that I love State of Decay 1 with the gameplay and everything, but I just think State of Decay 2 is a, it's just a bit smoother. It's not perfect, like there's certain elements of State of Key 1 that it does do better than in this. I think certain elements, I think, uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd, I'd have to think about it, but I think both have the pros and cons, and I think that's good for both games, because it means that when you go to back to State of Key Yoshi, you think, oh, that's actually quite a good thing. Um, or when you go to this, it's like, oh, that's a nice improvement. Just certain things like transferring items uh, from vehic from your vehicle to the base, things like that. Even though that weren't a thing at launch on this game, but just certain elements. Um, but yeah, it's good. Um, I'm excited to do more. Um, so. Yeah, be sure that we'll either keep re re we'll keep playing uh, Trumbull Valley for the next few series, or we'll see. Because um, I'll probably play this to death, and then we'll go to through every other map, and then come back. Because <laughs> that's one of the good thing about this game is that uh, when you do get tired of a map, you can go to another, and by the time you go through all the other maps and you come back to this, so it's like a fresh new experience. And that's one thing I like about having multiple maps even though that state of the game one it didn't need multiple maps it had one iconic map and it get people going for years and 
Even though I think in State of Decay 1 people were saying I'd like another map. And I think that's the reason why in State of Decay 2 they did add a few at launch. So there's a bit more choice but um, we've got five maps <laughs> and it's Trouble Valley. Um, so I'm excited to uh, get into it more and seeing all the little easter eggs and nostalgia. And Like I said we will, I think we will do a series at some point on Heartland. Because I think it will be good for the channel and um, maybe it'll be a good break after, say we do this series, maybe after this we'll do Heartland um, as a little break from the Walking Dead stuff, um, but the main series stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, there'll be more State of Decay tomorrow and then it'll be grounded for the next two days and then we should be back with more State of Decay. So. It'll be regular as usual. Um, they'll be back in the normal rotation because the past few days it's been a bit weird because I've been waiting for this update. Um, but it's on YouTube. It's a. It's always a bit of a delay. So I'll make sure to premiere it so people know when this is up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here today. So as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.